Hello and welcome to Ohio Films Reviews at London Film Festival 2021. I'm Cameron, and that's Jordy Steele. We're talking about The Lost Daughter's Day. And Jordy, can you tell me about the movie, please? Yes, I can, Cameron. Thank you. Lost Daughter is about a woman, while on summer holiday, finding herself becoming obsessed with another woman and her daughter, prompting memories of her own early motherhood to come back and unravel her. The film is uh, written and directed by Maggie Gyllenhaal, and it's based on the novel by Elena Ferrante. Or Ferrant. Ferrante. 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 Yeah. Ferrante. Um, and stars Olivia Coleman, uh, Dakota Johnson, and Jesse Buckley as a younger version of Olivia Coleman's uh, character. I found this film, to, to put it in one word, uh, solid. Yeah, it's it a was, solid film. It was fine, fi- especially for, for Maggie Gyllenhaal, she did a great job uh, directing Olivia Coleman. The, it has a great cast, so, mm-hmm. so obviously. Olivia Coleman's going to be great. Um, Jesse Buckley's going to be great. Dakota Johnson was great, um, and 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 the the script was okay. Not much happened though. No. That's my only gripe it's, with the. Yeah, it's one of those ones where I feel like if you rearranged some story points mm-hmm. and moved some stuff around, you'd get a better movie. Yes, if you, know you I mean? yeah, if you literally. You skipped all the flashbacks. If you skipped the flashbacks and left it as a reveal, you wouldn't be. You wouldn't be like, oh, yes. You wouldn't. Uh, you wouldn't. Because I find my, I found myself, and I don't know if this is a spoiler, but I found myself disliking her more and more. And I get that probably is the point. Mm-hmm. But by the end, where it seemed like they wanted you to have her redeemed slightly at the very end, I don't know if the that was what they were end. going for. Um, I didn't have that at all. Yes, and I just didn't. I didn't think her actions were reasonable. By no, any it stretch. was very strange. It yeah. was a very strange movie with a very strange point to make. Yeah, so it keeps. Um, and I'm not even sure what the point was in the end. It just felt pointless. Yeah, so the main sort of uh, 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 the main story, I guess, for the film is that, uh, uh, or the plot point is that Olivia Coleman's character uh, steals the doll of a child who is Dakota Johnson's child. Mm-hmm. Jesus. Um, and then throughout this film, there are flashbacks to, with Jesse Buckley playing Olivia Coleman's character, uh, her time with her raising her two daughters. And it sets up something throughout the whole film that doesn't happen. No. And it makes you feel like, well, obviously this happened, this happened, that's why uh, Olivia Coleman has such a, 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 a connection, a personal connection to the events that go on in Olivia Coleman's timeline. Um, but no, it just doesn't happen, no. and it feels like such a waste of time, and it makes the flashbacks pretty much redundant. Yeah. Um, because I guess what it becomes is the flashback sort of shows you her relationship with her daughters, but then present Olivia Coleman doesn't. It doesn't affect her in no, any way. She doesn't care. So so yeah, it's a bit. A bit naff. Everyone in that just sense. seems to have no personality either. It's just sort of yeah. dead. Uh, they work. I think Coleman and Dick Johnson do well to sort of try and inject some life mm-hmm. into them, but it just, it ever, it just is. It's so weak in that regard. Yeah. It's watchable to a point. I found myself dozing mm-hmm. quite often. I was a bit like, "There's nothing keeping me awake here. There's nothing that I, I, I want to keep looking or keep being, keep attempting to try and engage myself with it." But it didn't want. It felt like it didn't want to have me near it. Yeah. So I was like repelled by it in a way ed harris is also in this film as like maybe the only sort of light in this film he's he's yeah he's delightful um just a really nice old man just a nice yeah nice nice guy or a nice middle-aged man no i was an old man nice middle-aged man it's an old man what did you think of the film have you seen it yet it comes out on december 31st on netflix in the u.s um other than that I don't know. There's not much else to say. I'm Cameron. You can find me on Twitter at Cam's OG. He's Real Jordy Steele on Twitter. We're at Ohi Films. You can find us there. Subscribe if you're on YouTube. There's lots of London Film Festival content all around. So yeah, ohifilms.com as well, where everything else is just together. And all, all our other projects are there. So find us there. But, uh, but thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.
Come on. <sighs>